Hello Automators, I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm really excited to show you something that can actually really shift the smart home and the security industry in general. Now, this is called Hex and I am really lucky to be able to try out this system that I showcased in our CES coverage on our main channel. Now, like I said, there's a beta application and probably not supposed to show that but let's get into the box open it up and then let's try to set it up right in and I don't know if this is retail packaging but I'm pretty excited that I get purple paper so inside the box we actually have three separate boxes I'm gonna toss that out here the first one is called hex command now this is the main control component as I understand it, but we'll get this opened up and I'll show you that one. The other two are called Hex Sense. Now, both of these appear to be very small plug-in modules that we're gonna be able to place a lot like mesh Wi-Fi throughout our home. The card actually says something here. We're basically three steps away from a secure home. Now, the idea with this technology is that it's using Wi-Fi to actually sense if something is changing throughout your home. So when you arm the system, nothing should be changing in your home. Obviously, this system is only going to work in certain situations, but it will understand if you have a pet and it will be able to react to that situation. So now we have a single module here, and within here we also have, I think we're just gonna have, yep, a power adapter and a little manual. That's about all we've got. So we do have a power adapter, pretty standard stuff, plugged into the device here, and you do have some mounting screws. So that leads me to believe when we get a retail version, a full retail version of this system, that you probably would end up with some mounting hardware in case you wanted to kind of stick this on the wall. It looks pretty innocuous or inauspicious I guess is the word I don't know I'm trying to use a big I word these little sense devices this is quite a small little puck here so you can see it's just gonna connect in you're gonna plug that in doesn't even have the ground pin and this is how you're going to basically set up the mesh Wi-Fi security system so quite an interesting little device we have here all right, so I've got the app opened up here. Right away, it's asking for a few permissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow this. Now, I've got to create an account. This is pretty normal stuff. And then we're just gonna basically follow the process here. I had to get this from a special link, but the Hex Home application will be what you need to download on Android or iOS. And what we're going to do is create an account for use with our different packages. And you know, you might just have one sense module and one command module, but as you create that account, you're going to need an email. And when you hit the submit button after you've filled out an email and a password, you'll need to go into your email and you'll have to confirm it by hitting the little button in that email to confirm your account. Once you've done that, you've created your account, it's successfully set up, and now we're going to start the process of actually setting this up. And what they're going to do is use your phone's camera in order to scan the QR code. Now, with an Android, it seems really hard to focus on these things, so I actually go into my camera app and then come back over, and you can see the focus was better as I came back. Now, what we have to do is input our address and a name for the command module. That's what we're setting up first here. So I've put in my address and it's US only at the moment. And then you will put in the command label or the label for that module. Now I put living room because that's where I'm going to put this one. What they tell you is to give it some space two to four feet off the ground, away from large appliances, and you know, give it some space around other big Wi-Fi devices, but I'll show you where I placed it and why. It's not too serious of a requirement, but remember this is using Wi-Fi, so anything that can interfere with Wi-Fi can interfere with this. 
definitely don't place it near a microwave. So what they've told you is to plug it in and wait until a white light shows up on the top of your hex and once you hit that next it will connect to the device and ask you if you'd like to connect to it with your phone because that's what I'm using to set it up here. Now you have to choose the Wi-Fi in your home that you want to connect this whole system with. So it's going to connect with your Wi-Fi in order to provide you notifications. So all we're doing is putting in our Wi-Fi credentials, our password, and then it will join the network. And you can actually see that it has joined as an Asus device. So that tells you kind of what the technology is behind this or the maker that they've used for some of the physical hardware. Once you've done this, the next step in the process is to install one of the actual sense modules. The command module is just talking to these sense modules, which are the ones that sense throughout your home. Now, they'll tell you in general, you wanna use these all on the same floor, but I actually placed mine upstairs and it seems to still work correctly. In general, follow that recommendation to put it on the same floor as your command module. And really, all you're doing is plugging it in and following the on-screen prompts here in order to set up the system. Now that we have a sense module, if I'd like, I could add a second sense module, but I'm just going to hit the test the system and it starts initiating the entire process or the entire set of sense systems. Now, once it's done that initiation process, it's about a minute, they will give you the opportunity to adjust the sensitivity level. Don't worry, you can change that later. And then you end up in the full application. Now, you can go throughout, you can look at your activity. We'll talk more about this as we go throughout the video. But the biggest component is the three modes, which is home, away, and vigilant. So vigilant is... Uh, setting that if you'd like to understand when someone's moving throughout the home but they will be home that's an option for you if you set the system into a way and then someone is around the home they will get a low siren it's not a very loud siren I've been able to work with the Hex Home system now for quite a while in my home and I want to give you a little bit of a breakdown of what's possible, what's not, and I want you to keep in mind that this is still very much a beta device. But overall, the setup process was not difficult. This is something that the application handled well. I had a couple of little hiccups when it thought I wasn't connected to the internet, but in general, I was able to just get back into the process. And one of the nice things about it is that you can always add more sense devices later. So this is a critical component because it allowed me to just go back into the setup process as I needed to if anything failed. So when we get to a full production device, I think that's going to be very helpful. But as I added the different devices, I was able to start to see some of the activity. And you get a whole chart here that moves in real time as you do movement. And one of the sensors is just kind of over there. And what that means is you're able to see the different sense modules and what they can see. Now, if you select all on the, the activity chart here, you get to see them kind of overlap. If you have multiple of those sense devices, you can see that maybe both are sensing a little bit of motion, so you know where someone was in the home. And on top of that, you have a bit of a history or a bit of an events page here that you can go through and there's actually a whole calendar so you can refer back to different events, different activities, things that have happened. So this becomes dual purpose in that it can actually be an occupancy monitor as well. If the device is in or if the system is in home mode and you have people walking throughout, you're going to get activity and you're going to be able to see that activity. 
Now the dashboard as well allows you to arm the system and put it into a uh, vigilant mode. Now the other thing or the other pages here, you have the device pages and you have the command module. You can't do a ton with that, but you have the other modules, the sense modules. You can set their siren volume. It's not a super loud siren, but you can set that volume and the LED brightness. And what they actually mean by that LED brightness is actually really impactful to a third purpose that this module or this system can provide. So when you walk past the sense modules, they know you're walking past it and they turn on the LEDs. Now, it's not entirely perfect. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to recognize and then turn on that light, but it's pretty good already and it's providing a bit of a night light. You can fully schedule the system if that's what you'd like to do, but I think this is going to end up becoming something over time that you just arm as you leave or you're going to synchronize with your GPS location. That's not in the app right now, but the settings here, you're able to enable and disable the system. You can adjust that sensitivity if you're finding issues with the system and there's entry and exit delay. So as you hit the arm button or the disarm button or you go to home in away mode, well, you're able to put a little bit of a delay there. As this is just a beta device still, I am really excited. This technology is working really well already. And as we see this kind of a system develop, I'm really interested to see how much of my smart home security system I can replace with something like the Hex Home. So stay tuned, join us here on Automate Your Life and you'll be able to see the development of systems like this. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.